Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about the fact that QuickBooks Sold Trader has finally got accountant access. Now, this is huge. As an accountant, what I like to do is be able to make sure that I can help clients as best as I possibly can. And the best way for me to do that is to have access as an accountant into their file to be able to make sure things are going okay, maybe offer a bit of assistance, give some advice, all that sort of stuff. And without that access, it makes it really, really difficult. And if I'm completely honest, that's one of the reasons why QuickBooks Self-Employed was such a difficult one to work with, because we didn't have proper accountants access. But now we do. Now we have access as an accountant, and not only do we have access, but also we get some new tools to play around with, including the first time ever in a sole trader self-employed product where we can reconcile a bank. We can make sure that our clients have the chart of accounts that they need. And we have access to all those all important work papers as well. Throw in the option for us to do journals and we pretty much have the best software on the planet for sole traders. Let's go straight and see exactly what this is all about. I can't wait. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo. That QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, your 2024 Digital Disruptor Award winner and your Hero Behind the Hero winner as well. Plus, I am your podcaster who goes live each and every morning, morning for Ask the Accountant. Now, in this video, we're talking about that accountant access for QuickBooks Sole Trader. So without further ado, let's go straight into it and see exactly what we mean. So on screen, you can see I have two versions of QuickBooks floating around. On my right hand side here, I have the QuickBooks accountant and in there. That's me as the accountant having access. And on the left hand side, I have the Intuit QuickBooks option. And I thought the best thing for me to do this is make both of these full screen. And going forward, left hand side will be client, right hand side will be the accountant access. First of all, everything's looking exactly the same. A few little the bits that you can probably see different there is at the top on the left hand side i don't have anything over here i can use this drop down button to jump between clients if i need to really useful for flicking between clients uh, and and i also have the accountants tools as well which we're going to explore in a moment if i look in the settings for both of them they look pretty much the same other than again i got that switch company option option here interesting we both get the add accountant option so in theory, as the accountant, I could then add another accountant. And um, as the client, I can either make them the primary admin or delete their access whatsoever. To invite the accountant was super easy. I went to the company card, went to add accountant and use this invite option, filled in first name, last name, and that email address just to really make it straightforward. The rest of the settings look pretty much exactly the same. And if I press the new button on both, they're both the same as well. What I start getting differences though is when I jump into the transactions area. So the client on the left hand side, you'll notice that my options at the top, there's two of them, transactions and receipts. On the right hand side is the accountant, now I get transaction, receipts, reconciling chart of accounts. Now my transactions area does have a slight difference as well. I have this option for here, these transactions. And the idea is, as I'm going through here, if I'm looking at this one, I say advertising, and if I'm happy that is advertising, I can put this tick box in here to let myself and the rest of my team know that actually I'm happy with that and I'm happy that that's been ticked. On the left hand side as a client, I don't get that tick option. Remember, this is auto categorizing. So I really, as the client, should be going through and looking at these and figuring out which ones is right and which ones are wrong. But ultimately, uh, it's already been done for me. And I think as the accountant, what we should really be utilizing is this filter option look at the different categories and then making sure that we tick them. We can use the tick button at the top here to do and do a whole roast and we are entitled to use the batch action option to go through and tick them as well and that's definitely something I'll be utilizing going forward. Marking all of those as reviewed saying I'm happy with them. The receipts page are exactly the same on both sides so no difference there but obviously it's going to be the reconcile option where we're going to see the biggest difference. And the idea here is now I have the opportunity to reconcile through as needed. And the reconcile is exactly the same as we know and love. I put my statement ending balance in, my statement ending date in, I press start reconcile. It's going to show me all the transactions that are there. And as long as I've ticked everything and everything's gone through correctly, 
I should get a zero difference, means I can finish now. What that does mean is for the first time ever, we can have that confidence that that transaction and that bank account are correct. What we also get the opportunity to do is make sure that if the client makes any changes to anything, that we're gonna be notified of them. For example, say the client came into this transaction here and actually wish to exclude the transaction, then on my accountants area, I'm being told that that client has done that because we reconciled to there and saying that that £6.50 is gone. The help to fix it means that, well, originally we had £6.50 there, now we don't because it's been deleted and I can easily then go find that £6.50, undo exclude, bring it back into play so that now when I go back to my reconciliation screen, I can go back and re-reconcile, resetting it and undoing that problem that the client had. We've never been able to do this before in self-employed. So the fact we can now do it in Soul Trader is a huge deal. We have the option to look at our summary so we can see when the last time it was reconciled and we can look at history account as well, including the option to use the attach button to be able to attach a copy of that bank statement if we need to. Now the next feature is something that we've been asking for for a long time and that's chart of accounts. With chart of accounts, we now have the ability to be able to change the chart of accounts that we have down the bottom here. Now the client will never see most of these and in fact, you can add and take away chart of accounts to your heart's content. To interact what the client will see though, we need to interact with this manage mappings. So let's say here we've got this buy shirts, buy on the left hand side. Now the client would like to make it a business transaction, but they don't really have a category that sits well. So what we can do is create a new category on the chart of account at the top. Let's call it stock. Let's put it to expenses. Let's put it to cost of sales and save. Now to allow my client to be able to see that, I go to manage mappings, new category, call it stock. and map it against that new chart of account I've created. Give it a description, press save. And this list here is a list of the actions or the categories that the client can see. So now, as I go into here, as a client, I can now go and assign stock, the new one I've created for them, and I can start utilizing it as a client. This gives you endless opportunities to help with your client. And it's only you as the accountant that can actually interact with the chart of accounts, interact with those categories. So you're gonna have full control to be making sure that you only give the client the transactions and the categories that they actually need. From a reports point of view, you'll notice we get a lot more reports. Interestingly though, if you've got a CIS client, as the accountant, we don't get the CIS summary, suffered summary, which I think is a really odd a mission to make, but I'm sure that will come in an, uh, in a later. I'm sure that will come with an update later down the line. We get the same profit and loss options, same sales, but as the accountant, we get all of these options as well, including for the first time, be able to see how the balance sheet is, how to see how the trial balance is, and be able to see how the rest of these transactions work. Honestly, it's great to be able to finally see a trial balance in this product. With QuickBooks Self-Employed, we never got to see any of that, and now we do. And from a mileage point of view, the client gets this nice UI that they get to interact with. As the accountant, we only get to see the trip lock, which I don't know understand either because that gives it really difficult for us to understand if the client's actually utilizing this or not, if they've got it up to date, if they're ready to be able to tell us if we can extract the data for that particular tax year. So it's a bit strange, but hey, they're the options that we have. The final bit though that us accountants get is this accountant's tool action on the top. From here, we get some quick links to stuff we've already seen, like the chart of accounts and reconcile option, and also those reports. We also have the chance to close books as well, but we've always been able to do that and the client was able to do that themselves. We as the accountant also have the opportunity to close books as well. Similar to how we do it in QuickBooks Online um, and gives us the opportunity to do that also. We also have the option to use client requests, which means we can ask a client a, a question and get that sent over to them, which is a nice way to interact with a client and just get some information directly through. We get a notes section where we can put notes about that client directly on here. And only us as the accountant can see it. 
And we also get the return of the reports option as well, which means that we can see a reconciliation status of all the accounts and how they're going. And we can even set what our report tool defaults are going to be going forward. So in most instances, we're going to be using that last financial year so that all our reports will default to that going forward. And finally, we get the work papers option back as well. So excited to see that here. The work papers option as accountant is our best way to feel confident in the information that's there. We have all the options of work papers we know and love, including the option to tick to say that the items have been prepared and reviewed, and we still get the option to manage docs and add links as well. So in this case, I've gone and added a supporting document for the bank account to prove that that bank account is correct. And I would go down looking to make sure things like my CIS suffered is correct, market is prepared, and then someone will come along and mark it as reviewed as well. And I get it for the, both the balance sheet and the profit and loss so I can go through. And again, just get confidence on what's actually there and put the items through. So there we are, there's the accountant options. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, there's still some things I'm hoping to come through. For me, I really hope we get the reclassification coming soon as well, because that's where we get to put the most amount of benefit into in cleaning things up. I'm also looking forward to the rules section coming into the bank. I'll be interested to know if it's just going to be a client only feature or as the accountant, are we going to get a few more options? Because I really do think the rule section is what this is missing now more than anything else. But as the accountant, I couldn't be happier. This is the first time we've actually been able to get an opportunity to reconcile those banks, to get confidence that those transactions are going to be correct. And with journal entries there as well, which you saw there from the quick links option, we now have the opportunity to make sure that we can update, put the journals in as we go along. But what do you think? Was this what you were expecting? Is there anything else you were hoping to get from the accountant only access? So far, this is a perfect solution for our smaller client. Those clients that are under the VAT threshold, just want auto categorization, just want a simple way to be able to be able to get that information over to us. This could be a really perfect fit for a real good subset of our client base. But what do you think? Have you got the perfect client that you think sole traders going to be? Let me know in the comment section below. And if there's anything you were hoping to see from that accountant section, also let me know in the comment section below. But my name has been Aaron Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. If you want to know tips and tricks on how to use the best out QuickBooks sole trader, especially as the accountant, then you're already in the right place. We're going to be doing a deep dive of connecting apps to it. And we're going to be looking at all the different things. And also, we know there's some updates on its way. Rules are definitely on its way. And I'm hopeful that the receipt capture gets a big update as well. So if you want to be the first to know about all the updates to do with QuickBooks Soul Trader and the rest of the QuickBooks products, you're already in the right place. So don't forget to use that like button, subscribe button, and I will then see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new series. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you're alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every Monday. The next generation is that everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So come All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? Because during that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their accountant, right? their advisor that would give a new, all the phenomenal work for small business.